man. Thanks for coming on, dude. No problem, Thank guys. Thank you very much, man. Thank you for having me. Time. Yeah, man, absolutely. I'm just glad you didn't bring your crappy pet. I thought <laughs> <laughs> you could go oh. to hell. Oh! oh. oh. We'll see who best. goes to hell soon. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. Uh, I need to teach my dog to kill. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Uh, well, hello. Uh, my name is James Small. Hey, sir, I'd like to welcome you to the Super Best Friend cast. I'd well, like to you. thank you for, you know, being like, yeah, Long come on in. And, 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 uh, and I'm genuinely worried that James is just going to see me and just punch me. <laughs> in the face. No, 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 and, no, no. And it no, would no, be no. not undeserved. No, he's a bigger man than that. All he needs to do is tell well, the story a bit of how taller than you met. Pat. By default, every character I ever create, I call Dave. You're a loose cannon, Dave. He's a maverick. Zero, zero tolerance. <laughs> You're a good cop now, Dave. We don't know about this who this mysterious policeman, although there are rumors that his name is Dave and his balls are huge sick. <laughs> Determined drunk James has gone, no, I'm doing, I am, I am committed to this. I'm going $260 oh, you, a You <laughs> felt really strongly about this. Yes. All right, drunk James, you win this time. Well, I told you about the time yeah. I hid my shoes from myself. No. <laughs> what? What you told Wooly. Uh, possibly, Maybe. but it might have been a while Okay, this ago. is when we were working together uh, back in Montreal. And uh, I basically, I woke up in the morning and realised I was quite late for work. And kind of was panicking because it was one of the training sessions that we had to do for a bunch of testers right. on, on compliance. And was like, what the hell, what's going on? And so I throw some clothes on and kind of go, where are my shoes? And I wander around, wander around my tiny, like, one and a half apartment place going where the hell are my shoes and eventually I notice a crumb trail going from my bed into the kitchen like literally a, a crumb trail like a br- trail of cr- breadcrumbs going to into the kitchen so I follow it going what the hell's going on I open my oven and inside my oven wrapped in tinfoil are my pair of shoes <laughs> So, drunk James got back and went, oh, this will be really funny. This will be hilarious. <laughs> so then sober James wakes up with no recollection of this oh, at all. Oh, Because also apartment locked from the inside, so it's not a friend of mine that thought oh. this would be funny. This is clearly me being drunk. Uh, at two in the morning, uh, wait until the sun started coming up, rode back to where my house was, down the main Maisonneuve, yeah. and uh, stopped at every single person I met and asked them if they'd kill Hitler. Uh, you weren't around for the time I threatened to stab someone with a fork, were you? I know, but I, uh, people had told me about that. Q-A. Wrong, where you said apparently I woke up being choked by a girl. Yeah, like, No, that's not how it happened at <laughs> okay, all. Okay, okay, okay. It's very similar. <laughs>